Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to close clients on a meeting. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be aware of the four possible outcomes that you can get in a meeting and how to skyrocket the likelihood of you closing this client. I'm super excited for this video because I wish I'd known this when I first started out in my agency journey because this would have saved me a lot of wasted meetings, a lot of wasted potential, and I would have been able to sign my first client a lot sooner. So I'm incredibly excited for this video, whether you are a seasoned agency owner or you're just a beginner agency owner, this is gonna be of insane value. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So I've got pen in hand and right behind me, we've got my whiteboard and you know it's gonna be good when we've got that set up. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. Here are the four possible outcomes of a meeting and how to navigate them and make sure that you increase the likelihood of you closing these clients. Uh, four possible outcomes, here we go. So the first outcome is a straight up yes. Okay, and so the client goes ahead and says, yes, I am up for it and let's do it. So if that is the case, then two things can happen, right? They can either pay on the call, so you've got the payment on the call and you will send them the invoice. Or if it's a larger company, you have to understand that the person you're speaking to, if it's either the CEO or the CMO, they're not realistically gonna make the payment on the call. Why? Because they've got an account, an account uh, payable department, an AP department or a finance uh, department or a finance person that takes care of the invoices. Um, and you need to understand the difference between these two situations and where you should push for the payment on the call and where you should actually lay back and understand that the payment is not gonna happen on the call. Not because they're not fully bought in, but simply because they're not gonna settle it on the call because they're a bigger company, they have more layers. And there's a person that actually does that every single day, right? They've hired a person to take care of the invoices. So this is the first outcome, which is a yes. If you go down this route where they can actually set up the payment, I recommend that you at least go ahead and book in the, you know, for example, the uh, plan of attack or the launch uh, session or whatever it is, whatever you wanna call it, uh, which is the first kind of official touch point with you and the agency, and you guys can kick things off uh, from that session onward. So at least get them to uh, commit to something. That something does not have to be the payment. If they are a larger company, it could just be the kickoff session, okay? Uh, so that is the AP uh, or payment option. Okay, now that is a yes. The second option is a no, they just say no. If that is the case, what you wanna do is you wanna dig a bit deeper. You wanna find out what, what, what are they actually saying no to? Is it the price, is it the service, are they not ready? Do they need to delay the, the decision? What is it, what, what are they actually saying no to? What do they not like about your offering? Why, why do we actually wanna know this? Because once we actually get an idea of what they're saying no to, we can then go ahead and handle their objections and actually get to the root cause of it and potentially even turn this no into a yes. Because maybe they're saying no to the service because maybe you didn't explain well enough what the process to results looks like, right? Maybe they're saying no to the price because you didn't explain enough how the pricing works or something like that, right? So you wanna make sure that you get to the root cause of the no. Root cause of the no. Do a bit of digging, right? The no is usually caused by something. It's not just that they're closed off. If they were closed off to the opportunity, they would have never jumped on a call in the first place. So that's a, another thing that you need to understand. So that is the second outcome that we wanna keep in mind. Now the third outcome is uh, the uh, second, let me call this the second touch point. Second touch point, I'll just call it second touch point. So what this means is that they generally say Right, they generally have to speak to someone about this. They have to get a, another decision maker involved in this decision for them to move forward, right? Now, low caveat here. If they say, oh, I just need to think about it, do not let them walk away from the meeting with that objection. That is an objection and that is usually not the case, right? It's just a way for them to get out of the situation and if you let them walk away with, I need to think about it, you're probably never gonna hear from that person ever again in your life, okay? So do not let them walk away with just saying, oh, I need to think about it. If they do say that, then go ahead and say, cool, what do you need to actually think about? Right? Because I'm pretty sure I've covered everything there is to cover, but if I haven't, let's go ahead and cover it right now since you've got me here on this call. If they say I wanna think about it, do not let them walk away from the meeting. Now, if they generally, generally need to speak to their business partner, a husband, wife, whatever it is, right? Whoever they actually need to speak to, if that's the case, then you wanna go ahead and go ahead and schedule a, an appointment 24 hours to 48 hours later, okay? So you wanna go ahead and pencil it down right there and then. 
I actually go ahead and send them the calendar invite on the call, okay? And it's very important that you do that because otherwise there's no commitment from them, okay? And if they say, oh, I don't wanna to commit to something, then just push them to the no, right? A lot of this, you know, I need to think about it, it's just a way of delaying the no. And one of the things that you guys need to understand is that a no is a very good answer. And when you're just starting out, a no seems like a really bad thing, right? And you're scared of no. Uh, I, I vividly remember starting out and I kept running away from the no, right? It's almost like I didn't wanna hear it, right? I wanted to create the solution of the possibility that this client could sign on. Instead, right now, one of the things that I chase the most is the no. I literally just, I'm so straightforward and so comfortable with the no that I actually make people so comfortable with say no that number one, I avoid myself wasting a bunch of time, right? And number two, this does not mean that I want them to say no, right? Or this does not mean that I don't do my objection handling or I don't wanna get the deal, right? But number two, it actually shows a lot of abundance on my side because I'm completely fine with you saying no, right? Maybe we're not a good fit. And so that actually gives me this new level of abundance that most agencies or agency owners don't have because they're really, they really want it to happen, right? They want it to happen so bad that it's actually pushing them away and pushing the client away and repelling the client because it's not a very attractive trait. Being desperate for something is not an attractive trait. So that is the second touch point. I make sure that you pencil in the second touch point um, on the call. And the fourth outcome is an objection, okay? If you guys want me to make a video on how to handle objections and some of the most common objections, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. And if I get enough people saying they wanna see that, then I will launch it for you guys to uh, see. But when it comes to objections, you might get, I can't afford it, uh, it's too expensive, it's not the right time, uh, do you have any case studies or testimonials, uh, and a bunch of other common objections. But I would say that those are the three to four common objections that you will get. So those are the four possible outcomes that you can get in a meeting and this is how to navigate them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I truly believe that once you can master these four possible outcomes, it's funny because on my channel previously, I've launched videos on how to master sales calls and what to say on the, the sales calls, you know, what are some questions that you need to ask. If you wanna see that, I recommend you check out this video after uh, finishing this video. Um, but I've put together those videos, right? And I truly believe that that stuff is incredibly important, but once you can master these four possible outcomes and you know what can happen and you know what route to take, then you almost become invincible, right? Because you know how it's gonna end. And so if you know how it's gonna end, then you're much more likely to be in control of the close of the sale. And so that is what I want you guys to take away from this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did drop a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And it really means a lot. It truly, truly does, uh, because this video take quite a lot of time uh, to do. Not only the idea creation, but the structure, the editing. And so I really, really appreciate it. Also drop down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out. Um, if you haven't talked to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. So if you don't wanna miss upcoming videos, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And the final thing is if you haven't checked out the free private mentorship community, The Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one, peace.